Live at five, it's off review, and uh, this screenshot is courtesy of MSF University. Uh, this is Mimball TV's server, old server. Uh, Spider Man Big Time, new character coming soon. We will see. Now, we got a lot to talk about today, and actually, some of it is interesting, uh, especially towards the end. I, I got some stuff that's important to me, anyways, I want to talk about. Uh, there was a patch today. A lot of people are asking what the patch is for. Um, I'm just going to put out what I think it was for. This right here says what the patch was for. Anomaly detected, supply store experience, unintentional auto-scrolling, the darkening effect, advanced option to open all orbs. Uh, did the update fix anything? The auto-scrolling is not a fix. Several Alliance members, including myself, reported is still scrolling. Um, it could be just that, but also, I, I, I'm guessing, and I don't know if this is true or not, but... Uh, we had a random patch a couple days before one of the scourges. I can't remember if it was like the unlimited scourge or the gamma scourge. And my take or, or what I heard through the rumor mill is that patch was specifically uh, to do something to mess up uh, the APK hacker cheaters. And so maybe, which is a good thing, right? I don't, I don't think that's a good thing in this game. So I'm I'm not sure that this... this uh, patch was for that or not i don't have any confirmation it's just a a guess that maybe the primary purpose for this patch uh was some sort of security message uh me some, some sort of security method to make uh the event more fair and to prevent those types of things happening and i'm a big fan of that if that's true also this is kind of garbage evader event compensation uh there are multiple, multiple posts about this compensation being trash. And I just want to read, you know, like, right. I mean, this person right here is really upset, right? And rightfully so. Uh, let me, I'll just explain the situation is that uh, there was an event and uh, the Vaders uh, at, if you have them at five yellow stars, you could go through the bonus round. And the bonus round, the primary reward was 1.8 million blue iso 5 which is beyond scarce right now like super super scarce like if you want to get bit boy apocalypse i mean i don't know how much blue iso 5 is worth uh you know one person one of these posts that maybe it's hundreds even thousands of dollars i i mean i was willing to spend 40 dollars to get that well for some reason or another uh anybody could go through it and the problem is this is some people like went in and they did one node. Some people got no nodes, but the thing is, is that they shut it down. And and then they issued out this node that says, players that invested toward completing the bonus difficulty will be able to complete the event a second time with bonus reward. That happened to, that happened to me. I was able to go through it again and get another 1.8 million, right? Because I had finished the thing. Players with ineligible team, evaders team who completed the bonus tier and players with an ineligible team that didn't both receive compensation in the near future. So I got that as well, this right here. Now, the problem with this is that some people were able to go through their event. They got 1.8 million blue ISO five. And the people that weren't online at that exact moment, because I don't know if it was like up for an hour or two. They get, you get this and I get this. It's not right. And I, and I can't understand why they do it this way. I, I feel like the correct thing and the fair thing to do is it's screwed up, right? They screw up all the time. Leave it up. Leave the event up. Let people go through the event. Let everybody get a chance to do it. That way you don't have to make right for the people that weren't online for that one hour. The people that were on for the one hour get what they're going to get. And then just do this. Players that invested toward completing the bonus difficulty will be able to complete an event for the second time. Then just reissue the event one more time for the people that can't finish it. And then they get to say, uh, this, the way that they did it pissed off a lot of people and created unnecessary work. And it, it, why? I don't know. It's scopely. Um, anyways, these are not small posts. On Reddit, a lot of these posts that, that are on Reddit maybe get 100 upvotes. Uh, anything over 200 upvotes is a significant issue for the community. 400 upvotes is monstrous. So, and there was multiple posts about this anyway. So, anyways, uh, what I'm trying to say is fix your game. Nova Trials. Okay, so 
uh tomorrow the nova event is starting and also we're going to start seeing inklings of gear tier 18 tomorrow in general um and in 40 days or so uh, dark dimension six uh, is going to start and for me i will n first of all um just like dark dimension four dark dimension five uh the first people that unlocked a big boy apocalypse my expectation is that the costs involved around gear tier 18 to be the very first to enter into dark dimension six is going to be on the order of a small of, of a car like that's how much money it's going to cost so for me I, i'm not it, i don't know if this affects me like um these things come out and i just like whatever it doesn't really matter we'll have to see how it plays out i'm not really sure uh, but it, it, to me, it's so horrifically expensive to be the first in this game that uh, I'm not interested in it at all. Also, I'm not going to be putting gear tier 18 pieces on anybody at all. Uh, let the people that uh, spend all that money go through Dark Dimension 6 and we find out what are the optimal teams, what characters that you need to put on gear tier 18 and so on. Like For me, uh, I, I, I'm definitely going to wait and see. But good news is this. Uh, the no event starting tomorrow and it looks like that they made the vent a tad easier which is a good thing uh you, you know they looks like a lot of people will be able to get a three star if they can get 550k points i have no idea if that's going to be easy or hard we will have to see and then the same thing is true is that there you're going to be able to just through milestones uh, get a four yellow nova uh, for 2.2 million has been dropped down to 1.3 million now i i don't know what those numbers mean because we haven't played the node and we have no idea how hard the nodes are if that'll be an easy task or a hard task also worth noting is that um there are some pieces like right here this is a gear tier 18 piece uh which would be at the 1.275 milestone so this will open up tomorrow um my initial goal will be to get through it and just get at least enough points uh to get through the milestones and get a four star nova and then from there uh throughout the rest of the the event we're going to try to min max it to get uh the highest score possible right all right also which is interesting is this is the raid orbs and i guess this also includes the raid store is oh lordy icarus so yeah if you're looking for icarus keep your eye on the raid store We've got the Nova Trials. Looks like there's some King Shards. Those are big in demand. And then also earlier this week, we got, I, I believe, 3,000 fragments of this uh, bizarre uh, Gear Tier 18 mini, mini Unique Orb. I'm not really sure what's in this orb. I'm fully expecting that this orb will be uh, available in the game at the start of the Nova event tomorrow. Our friends in Australia uh, are getting this offer right now. So when we get these orbs and they're not available for or for opening, they just stay in your inventory. And this happens quite a bit. So they, they, they don't just disappear. They're just not visible and there's no way of opening them, but they are sitting in your inventory. So when the, the orb for opening is enabled, all the fragments that we got from earlier in this week uh, and these right here will be available, be my guess. E either way, we may have to bug them to make it work right. But also they said that there was going to be uh, like every Monday in the lead up to Dark Dimension 6, we're going to get this orb. And then they also said that Super Scroll. So I'm guessing that Super Scroll is going to be uh, the reward for Dark Dimension 6. What makes Ice Absorbing Man bad? And I just want to say that in this game and in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, which I played a ton for, for years, going back eight years ago, um, Pre-taunting takes are very, very important. And we've got a couple important pre-taunting takes in the game uh, before Absorbing Man came out, and that would be like Red Guardian and Drax, and to a lesser extent, Bishop. And recently, with the addition of Kingpin, which indirectly he's a pre-taunting tank because he summons, you know, the minion that has taunt, uh, and then Absorbing Man. But for some reason, um, I know for me, I thought, I was like, cool, we're getting a new pre-taunting tank, which has been historically like a good thing. He's not great, and I, I think it's mostly just his health, and the top comment says that his health is super low for a tank. Just give him like a 30% health increase, probably be just fine. Uh, I have to upvote and agree with that. Uh, safest characters to build to gear tier 17, and yeah, Big Boy Apocalypse is significantly different than a normal Apocalypse, uh, and my suggestion is not put any gear 17 pieces on 
any characters other than the 23 required for Apocalypse. Uh, and then from there, I think you should still wait. I, I think this is a great suggestion. If you're striving to get a big boy Apocalypse, you need G17 on the Horseman teams plus Kestrel, uh, Death Pulse, and, and Scar um, Spider Weaver. In that situation, all 23s would be safest to bring to 17. Otherwise, hold off and see what works for DD6. Yeah, I don't, don't, don't. I, I mean, maybe you can make a case for King, uh, but maybe you can make a case for Apocalypse himself. Maybe you can make a, a case for Dormammu, but, you know, why not wait and see how Dark Dimension 6 is going to play out, which is uh, 40 days. Now, this is something here. I want to talk about this. Uh, not addressing the gold storage, but adding another use for it makes us less excited for gear gear 18 yeah I, I feel like there should be no interest in gear tier 18 at least i'm not and we'll probably talk about this more tomorrow training match shortage is real but only has one use gold is needed for everything over monetizing the gold shortage yet adding another need for it in the form of gear changes tone deaf lack of resource the main reason i don't bother buying new characters even the tiny bit of increase of gold is not anywhere close to the increase in need and and this is my main issue is the increase in need um in addition to like taking away gold from like the calendars from the monthly calendars uh, they've also increased the amount of gold that it takes to upgrade characters and uh, the best example is going from 94 to 95 is almost a million gold while you remove gold from the most events and even the counter uh, not released a new gold orb with higher drops i'm not exciting no matter how you spin or sell it most of these orbs and temporary counters are not long-term solutions so in, in general uh, bottlenecks in this game uh, have become excessive to the point where you know i think it, this is turning people away from the game and uh, i also do think we need more gold i think we need more gold orbs we need more access to gold in the form of calendars or events or something like that uh, i do think it would be a mistake to rework gold orbs there are people with hundreds if not thousands of gold orbs saved and if they reworked the gold orbs, um, that would greatly incentivize hoarding. Uh, there was someone in my chat just a minute ago that mentioned they had almost 500 gold orbs. And so I think that's a bad solution. I don't think any kind of action on Scopely's part that incentivizes hoarding uh, is, is good at all. If they want to create a gold orb too, or just increase the access to the number of gold orbs or access to gold in general, uh, that would be welcomed. Uh, Ultimate 32 rewards a little light. And I and largely I agree with this post, but we're going to talk about a, a different nuance that I, I want to talk about. Not necessarily uh, about the rewards or lack of rewards, because yeah, the rewards themselves, uh, you know, if you look at rank one, rank two, rank whatever, right? You can see that it's not a big difference. Now, I personally uh, made it to the final round and lost the final round. I had a good experience and uh, I enjoyed the 32. Uh, and the interesting thing about 32 is that I lost my last round. I know why I lost. I lost because I played a battle wrong, right? And uh, I know exactly what button I pushed wrong and why I lost the match. And I was okay with losing it. Now, that was fun for me. And I polled chat. Uh, did you find Cosmic Crucible 32 fun? And 57% said it was fun. Some people say it sucks. Some people don't care. Needs more rewards. I think we, I think needing more rewards is pretty reasonable. Um, now I'll admit, I, 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 I didn't look into it when the event started, but I got my rewards and it's the exact same ones from normal Crucible. Is this intentional? If so, I have to ask, what's the point? I agree with this. Next, can we get an option to opt out and just to do the normal CC? I'm not a huge fan of the game mode and I have to do it five times a week instead of three was a bit annoying. That said, I'll keep playing. Only way to get Quicksilver, even though I never use him. I need stuff from the store and I rank down. Uh, I get less currency. And so this this person has a, a reasonable take. You know, he's in the character that in the mo in the and in the, the category of people that don't like Cosmic Crucible. Now, for me, I I, I take issue with this idea. And, and it's been presented to me in different forms and of that. If the rewards were better, I would like the game mode more. And I, I really wish that it was not like that. And I do understand that progression and getting rewards and upgrading our roster is a large part of this game. But 
remember when we used to play, or I'll speak for myself. Remember, I remember playing like Call of Duty or Overwatch for no rewards and playing Overwatch and then looking over my shoulder and the sun was coming up and the game was just actually fun. I used to play video games for fun. And, and I just want to put it, I just want the community to think about this a little bit. If they made the rewards 10 times better for Blitz, does not change the fact that Blitz is a dog shit game mode and needs to be deleted from the game. It's garbage. What's wrong with having the game being fun and not caring about the rewards. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is that I was the third day into the event and I was having a blast in Cosmic Crucible and someone said, Did you, ah, this Crucible sucks. There's the rewards are garbage. I hadn't even looked at the rewards because I didn't care because the game mode was fun for me. And I think that's a good thing. And I think we need to expect that from the developers. Shit, that's actually fun. It doesn't have to be about rewards. Video games didn't used to be that way. They used to be about actual fun and playing the game for fun and enjoying it and not just about what we're going to get. That being said, the rewards suck and I wish they were better. All right, let's move on to offers and um, Mother's Day gear up. So this offer is a signal that gear tier 18 is around the corner uh this is the most reasonable i've seen offers for gear tier 16 this is a significant amount of orbs for gear tier 16. uh this right here is gear tier 17 and then this is also uh, a precious uh, mini unique that i personally need for psylocke so um, this typically happens when they're issuing a new progression system which is gear tier 18 is that they actually start selling one of the older tiers of gear at a lower price uh so this is ushering in gear tier 18 and if you're looking for gear tier 16 uh this is reasonable enough uh this is kind of garbage i just wanted to point it out and this right here uh I, I don't know what this is worth but if you're a purchaser of power cores and actually i have no use for power cores right now uh, but normally you get 375 for five dollars so is this if you're gonna buy power cores anyways is this right here worth 25 power cores i don't know anyways i'm gonna be on twitch early tomorrow for the nova event when the event goes live and i'm gonna be trying to get through uh get through it at least to the extent that i want to get a four star uh nova unlocked let me know what you think in the comment section as always thanks for watching keep on gaming bye for now